Okay, let's try a few of these problems. Now, when we have division here, we're still gonna distribute this exponent to the three and the four. So this will be the same as three squared over four squared. And then you need to go ahead and work those out. So this would be nine over 16. And then simplify this if you can. Now we can't simplify no nine over 16, so this is the final answer. For this example, we're gonna have negative five to the third and x to the third. Now, look, this negative five is in parentheses. So this parentheses is for this entire fraction. So you need to keep the parentheses with the negative five to the third. And then you can put parentheses around the x to the third, but that is gonna be the same as x to the third. Now be careful, negative five to the third, if you use parentheses like you should, you are going to get um, a negative 125 because this is negative five, that's like saying negative five times negative five times negative five. And when you have an odd amount of negatives, so this would make a positive, and then a positive times another negative, your final answer is negative. So be very careful and make sure you use parentheses if they're there. So we get negative 125 over x to the third, and that is the final answer. So what we're discovering, um, the power of a quotient, to find the power of a quotient, find the power of the numerator and the denominator, and then divide if you can. And you will have to follow the dividing rules. So let's just try a couple down here as well. So we need to distribute these to both items in the parentheses. Now, one half times two, one half times two, that's like two over one is one. So this is really a to the first over 12 squared. Now simplify a to the first is just a, 12 squared is 144 and you are done. Okay. We're gonna take a to the second and h to the third raised to the second. So we have eight squared over h to the sixth, three times two. So we get 64 over h to the sixth. And the last one here, we can do a couple of different things. Since this is negative, we could go ahead and flip this around first and make this a positive, or we can distribute this as a negative two. Now I'd be very careful. I would actually go ahead and flip this over, take the reciprocal, that way we can um, make our exponent positive. So we really will have 4m over 7m squared to the positive two. If you take the reciprocal, your negative or your exponent becomes positive. Now I would distribute that through. So we get four squared m squared all over seven squared m to the fourth because two times two. So we have 16 m squared over 49 m to the fourth. I cannot simplify the 16 and 49 so those stay there. But then two minus four is m to the negative two. And last but not least, I do need to flip this down because it's negative. So our final answer is 16 over 49 m squared, and that is the final answer for number three. And then you can go ahead and pause the video and fill in um, how is the property for raising a power to a quotient property similar to the property for raising a product to a power. Well, the same thing. We need to distribute to everything in the parentheses, both the numerator and the denominator. So like we did here and here and here.